Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on the mindset I had while studying for the SPI. And I feel it really helped me pass the SPI on my first try. There is a lot of material. Please study. There's no magic pill. There's no way around it. Maybe you get lucky, most likely not. Just study the material. Reading chapter three and then finally getting to chapter 24 and you think you're done, it's not the way to go. Chances are you already forgot what you read in the beginning. So you, you first read the content to become aware of it and then you read it to fully understand it and remember it. Practice, practice, practice. Doing practice questions is very helpful. It is a way of reviewing. It is a way of applying your knowledge. And that is what the SPI will test you on. Are you applying your knowledge? Not just remembering it, are you applying it? So reading the content will help you remember it. Practicing will help you apply it. And therefore, you are remembering it as well. So please do those two things. There is no math in the SPI. If there is, it's something along the lines of divide by two or multiply by two. So don't worry about that. What there is in the SPI are relationships. And the formulas, the math formulas, help you with, the, with those relationships. Those math formulas are a summary and a shortcut to understanding relationships. So in my opinion, it's great knowing the formulas, not for the math, but for the relationships. The catch is, do you know how to read the formula? If you do, then you get a great summary of the relationships. I have a video on how to read the formulas, so feel free to check that out. Physics is a science, and like any science, there should be a balance. There has to be some sort of logic as well. The SPI is no different. There is balance and there is logic behind it. Whenever you are reading certain, certain concepts, you will see that it's a give and take. If I add this, it takes away from that. Or if I increase this, it decreases that. The SPI wants to ensure that you know this balance. That if you make certain changes, you understand the domino effect of it. Personally, I think it's a harmony and it's a lot that we can learn from. But that's just an existential view or approach to the physics. But when you're reading, keep this in mind. If I run one lap, it will take me X amount of time. If I run two laps, it will take me double the amount of time. If I send out a wave to four centimeters, it would take X amount of time to come back. If I send out a wave to eight centimeters, it would take double the amount of time to come back. That right there is the concept of how imaging depth affects frame rate. So it's a give and take. The biggest relationship that I can think of is between spatial resolution and temporal. And think of it like a painter. If you want me to paint this beautifully detailed image, give me some time. If you're going to rush me, I'm not going to do the best work. And we know that in our lives, if someone rushes you. Spatial resolution has that relationship with temporal resolution. 
So whenever you're reading these concepts, always think, how is this affecting the other way? The SPI wants to ensure that if there's a weird looking mass somewhere, you are making the right adjustments, not the worst, worst adjustments to maybe make that mass look even worse than what it is. And someone is depending on you. If there is flow, some if you're scanning a vein and there's a little bit of flow and you turn down your color gain, all of a sudden, there's no more flow. Now the doctor assumes there's no flow. So the SPI wants to ensure, in my personal opinion, that you know what effects you're having when you make certain adjustments. It wants to know that when the time is right and when it counts, that you make the right adjustment. And there will be times that you will sacrifice one thing for another, and that's okay. Sometimes you don't need temporal resolution, you need spatial. It is up to you to know what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're not, depending on the study. Well, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.